What's up guys? How are you? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. This is Divinely Destined's Tarot, where we're divinely destined, and so are you. This is going to be a general collective message for you, the collective, and me too, okay? Sometimes I resonate with these readings and sometimes I don't, just like you. Sometimes it may resonate, sometimes it won't. Take what applies and leave the rest, okay? I hope you guys are having a good day. And if not, I pray it gets better, okay? Trouble don't last always, honey. Keep your head up, keep God first, keep them prayers coming in, and watch yourself and your life change for the better. Jesus love you, I love you, and you're well loved, okay? Maybe you're not aware that you're loved, but I'm here to say you are, okay? Hey, at least one person over here love you, and that's me, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and see what um, Archangel Michael has for us today. Okay, Spirit, can we get some messages for the collective? Let's see what's going on. I keep hearing, he works hard for the money. <laughs> There's a hard worker here. Okay, make a wish. Okay, Spirit is saying make a wish. Okay, I'm hearing and I'm seeing the number 111. 111 means your thoughts are manifesting rapidly at this time. Keep your thoughts positive. Focus only on what you want to achieve, okay? Because your thoughts are manifesting quickly. If you're thinking negative and bad and um, hurtful thoughts, you're going to manifest that. But if you think positive, okay, you will reap some positive rewards right now, okay? We have the sun card. Uh, hey, Leo. It is Leo season. We're still in Leo season. Happy birthday to all the Leos celebrating their birthday today. I am a Virgo, I'm a Leo Virgo cusp, okay, born on the 23rd of August, okay, I hardly don't resonate with my Leo side, but you know, sometimes it come out, <laughs> happy birthday to all the, the cusp babies, 823 to 826, I believe, okay, but we have the sun card here, I always see this guy as like an angel or a shaman or a shaman, okay, a spirit guide or ancestor, someone's watching over you and protecting you. Okay, you could be 31 years of you could be 31 years of age. Okay, you, oh wow, yeah, you're definitely being guarded and watched. And the sun is the most beautiful is card, and it's actually the happiest card in any tarot deck. Okay, you could definitely be a um, a Leo. You could have a happy disposition. Deposition. How you say that? Y'all help me out in the comments. Okay, you could be cheerful. You know, Leos love the stage. Okay, the stage is your world. Okay, so. I feel like you're being heavily watched and protected. Okay. Make a wish. Your thoughts are manifesting rapidly at this time. You're in a high manifestation, period. Okay, the number eight, the month of August represents the number eight. Eight is all about manifestations and abundance. Okay. Make a wish. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be granted. In Jesus' name, we pray. Okay. You could be you could be a spiritual healer. You could be a spiritual teacher. Spiritual practitioner, practitioner. Okay? We have the anchor. You're deeply rooted, okay? I'm getting water vibes. I'm getting air vibes, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and I'm also getting Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces vibes. And I'm getting Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn vibes. Give me a minute, sir. Okay? You're deeply anchor okay you could be the rock for your family you could be the, the person everybody calls on in times of trouble you could be the one everyone you know you could be that shoulder that everyone goes to lean on in times of need okay you are that strong force in your family and you're highly guarded you're highly protected okay and don't forget you could definitely be a, a spiritual person you may want to look into that you may have a deeply spiritual side. Okay, now I'm picking up on Scorpio vibes. <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, you could travel a lot for business. Okay, you definitely could travel abroad. You could be internationally known. You can travel internationally. Okay, you could be a businessman. You could be a businesswoman. You could be connected to someone like this as well. Okay, hmm. You could be a pilot. <laughs> the sky is the limit. You only if this resonates with you, then yeah, you'll know. Okay. 
I'm getting um you're very connected. You're very connected. Not only in the state you live in, in the country you live in, but in other nations, okay? Or you could know someone like this. Okay. Oh, this beautiful. Live your life, honey. Live it. Hey, you have, you may have a calling in the spiritual realm and you don't even know it. You may be having dreams. You may be getting visions. Okay, be careful of the whip. This is about aggression and anger and, and nastiness, okay? This could be you at times. This could be someone in your energy, okay? Be aware of that type of energy, okay? Be aware of your attitudes. Check your temper. Check your, okay? I'm hearing hot-headed, okay? Easily triggered, easily angered. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Could be a Pisces. Hey, Pisces. Okay, I love this beautiful card here. This is representing the fish. Anytime you see the fish, honey, the fish is about abundance, material wealth. This is also speaking on the undercurrents of life and someone who's deep, okay? This person ooh, is deeply erotic, okay? This person has deep emotions. This person can dive deep into the underworld. I told you, this person has spiritual gifts that they may or you may have spiritual gifts that you may may or may not be aware of, okay? You could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, okay? But this is definitely Pisces energy here, okay? Pisces can be one way one minute, and one way the next minute. That's why they are represented by the fishes and going, the fishes going in opposite directions, okay? <laughs> you could be making dinner plans at seven and changing your mind by 7.30, okay? But you are a deeply erotic individual, deep. Psychology wise, you're deep, okay? I don't know how to say it. I don't know no other way to say it. You can connect to other worlds, okay? You can connect to other entities, other spirit guides and angels okay you have connections you're connected to source okay could be a shake shifter okay shape shifter okay you definitely could know how to astro project you may definitely know how to use telepathy okay you definitely could be a psychic here i'm picking up on someone who's definitely spiritually gifted and if you're not sure that you're spiritually gifted i'm here to confirm to you that yes you definitely have um spiritual talents or this is someone you know mm -hmm. use your spiritual gifts wisely yes yeah this is definitely you need to cut out something here you there's a this is hostility this is house hostility and aggression okay this is extreme aggression extreme hostility Okay, this could be you. This could be someone directing this at you. Okay, you need to cut that out. Quite literally. We're going to take a couple more. Mm. We got the snake. Everybody know what the snake represents. He ain't nothing nice. He ain't nothing pretty. But this could also go back to what I was saying about you being deeply erotic. Okay. You could be lusting after someone. You could be sexually attracted to someone. You could be a, you could be sexually obsessed with someone. Okay? You could be sex, sexually desiring someone. You could be sexually desiring to devour someone. Okay? But, you know, then on the other hand, you could be dealing with a snake in your life. Okay? That's nasty and mean and that you need to watch out for. Point blank, period, okay? I ain't gonna keep explaining it. You need to watch out for this person. And if this is not someone in your energy, you need to watch out for your attitude. You need to watch out for your anger. You need to watch out for your aggression, okay? And don't let your the lust of your flesh overtake you and cause you to go down the wrong path. You're spiritually gifted. You're spiritually aware. I believe your third eye, your third eye is open, or is opening. Okay, your heart chakra could be wide open. You could definitely be a twin, 
You could um, definitely be a twin flame. You could have a soulmate. Okay, Will of Fortune. Wow, that is beautiful. Will of Fortune. Okay, you're a very fortunate individual, as I stated earlier. Okay, make a wish. Think positive on, on excuse me, <laughs> speaking of twin flames, I just strongly felt my twin's energy come in here and come through me. Okay, this does happen. Okay, so yeah. You have a, a string of fortunate events occurring in your life. Think positive, okay? You need to eliminate this negativity that is around you or that is in you. Work, um, Make a conscious effort to you know, wake up every day and say, you know what? I'm not going to let nothing get me down today, okay? We got the five of wands. This could indicate more arguing, more confrontation, more people that are jealous, more people that are feel like they're in competition with you. This is definitely, um, you're giving me the vibe of someone who's probably got enemies, okay? There's people out in the world that does not like you. You don't live your life for them. You live your life for you. But you watch these people, and you stay from around these people. You're fortunate, okay? The will of fortune, this is a major arcana. It's getting ready to turn in your life. Think positive, okay? Maybe I'm here to tell you today, keep your thoughts positive. Your thoughts are manifesting quickly into reality. Think only on the things you want to manifest because it's going to happen. You manifesting negativity and lust, lust of the flesh, you're going to manifest that. But if you're thinking positive about the future and, and, your, and your goals and your family and your career, you're going to manifest more abundance. Okay? Call it, baby. Call, call, those good, call those things that are not as though they were. Call those blessings in because you're destined to have them. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> we have the Three of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. You could be suffering from heartbreak, betrayal. Okay. You could be heartbroken. You could be coming out of a relationship. Okay. Someone could have broke your heart. You could have broke someone's heart. Okay. Clearly, there's been some kind of confirmation. Confirmation. There's been some kind of confrontation with the whip. Okay. This was brutal. This was brutal. This was not nice. It broke your heart, okay? And with the five of, uh, let's see, with the five of wands, okay, this is indicating people that are um, envious, okay? Multiple people that are feel like they're in competition with you. There's no competition. You possibly had multiple options and multiple people. You could have been an alcoholic, okay? You could, be, you could be mentally confused right now. I'm here to tell you. Take a deep breath. Let's take one. <sighs> you see? Get your thoughts together because I feel like your, your energy is scattered, okay? You're mentally everywhere, okay? There's a lot of chaos in your mind right now. Possibly due to this betrayal, this heartache, this pain that you've recently undergone, okay? Seven of Cups is about multiple options, multiple ventures, multiple people. Five of five of Wands, okay? Definitely. I'm getting the energy of possibly too many people in your energy field and um, none of them meant you any good, okay? Yeah. Take time to breathe. Relax, okay? Let go of people. Let go of these people, man. These people are no good to you. They're keeping you mentally stuck and confused, okay? They're keeping a lot of drama up in your life. And drama, we don't tolerate drama over here. Take time to breathe out. Make a wish, okay? You see this big old cup? This is God blessing you. Be open to receive your blessing. Be open to receive it. Receive your blessings in love. Because it's, it's for you. It's for you, okay? Let's see what else do we want to use. I have so many decks of cards. I'd be like, ah, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. Could be a mature man, okay? You could be an older, older gentleman. This could represent someone you know, okay? You could just simply be very wise, very mature. And you have seen and experienced a lot in your life, okay? You definitely are giving me the, um, the energy vibes of someone who's spiritually gifted and spiritually aware. You could definitely love to read, okay? You could definitely love to learn new subjects. Yes, you have a spiritual gift. If no one ever told you, I'm here to tell you, you're spiritually gifted. Spirit is calling you to start um, 
realizing your spiritual talents. Get rid of these negative naysayers and haters. Closing. <laughs> Soon as I said get rid of these negative Nancys and haters, we have closing old doors. Okay? Mr. Mature Man, Mr. Wise Fella, a wise woman, it's time for you to close those doors out. It's too many people in your energy, and, and these people are not even good for you. Close those doors. Shut the door in their face. You're gifted. It's time for you to live your calling. I know you ain't crying. We have a man crying here. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Don't cry. Your heart is broken. Okay? You've been bruised and uh, battered. Okay? I always tell people, pick your chin up. Pick your head up. Don't cry. It's going to be okay. It will be okay. Okay? Maybe you you need to go out dancing. Have a good time. Take someone out. Enjoy life. Okay? We're going to take a few messages. Remember your true calling. Destiny is calling you. You're very protected. You're very you're very watched and guarded. Okay, there's there's a big angel watching and protecting over you. He could be Archangel Michael. If you know any Michaels in your life, give them extra hugs tonight. You could have an uncle named Michael who's very protective of you. Okay, you could have a brother named Michael, but the name Michael could be significant for you. Look, we have the sun again. <laughs> This is beautiful. We got the sun twice. You are spiritually gifted and you're being called into your spiritual path. Okay? We got the sun here twice. You could be a Leo. Okay? You could have Leo in your chart. Okay? This represents happiness and prosperity and popularity. You definitely could be well known. As I stated, you have a lot of people in your energy field. And, and half of those people are negative And they don't really like you. They're haters. Okay, but you're very popular though, okay? The sun is indicating a very happy, joyful individual, okay? We got the sun here twice. Beautiful. We got the moon. I'm hearing ain't no sunshine until she's gone, okay? So if you're brokenhearted, it's okay, honey. We all go through breakups. We all go through those painful experiences. It's time to move on, okay? We have the moon. You are very deep. I told you that earlier. You're very deep. Um, you have a deep emotional wealth of knowledge. You're very knowledgeable as well. Okay. This indicates a good omen. This is a good omen. You're spiritually gifted. You could have. Um, you could work with the moon. You could be called to work with the moon through the different moon phases. Okay. Look it up. This is definitely your calling. You're definitely. Um, Supposed to be in the spiritual field. Okay, we're gonna take these two. Mm, you could be married. You could be married. We have the ring. That's a beautiful ring. Okay, this indicates a rich and happy life. Okay, if you're desiring commitment, if you're desiring a beautiful wife or a beautiful husband. This is in your cars. This is your future. This is that will turning in your favor. You've experienced loss after loss after loss and heartache after heartache after heartache. Spirit is here to say, yeah, well, get ready. You have a new, that will has turned in your favor, okay? The desires of your heart are going to um, start manifesting for you, okay? I'm not going to take any more cards, okay? I feel I've been called to just... Um, say that's enough for today, okay? I hope this resonate, resonated with you. Feel free to give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. I am Stacy, by the way. That's my name. Single mother of three. And I'm destined to be your, your spiritual teacher and spiritual guide, okay? But I, I don't consider myself a spiritual teacher at all. I'm just a tarot reader, okay? You may be a spiritual teacher, okay? I love you. God bless you. And uh, go after your dreams with passion, ferocity. Don't give up until you achieve what you set out to achieve because you're called for greatness. God bless.